Let's put a house in The Sims, but I'm only allowed to use one item from each pack. Yes, you heard that right. We're only using one item from each pack for this build, and that includes base game. So we can only use one base game item for this entire build. Am I a little bit nervous? Yes. But do I think it's possible? Also, yes. Can we repeat items? Yes. Especially because sometimes you need multiple of an item to make it functional like kitchen counters, and I'm not gonna use kitchen counters from several different packs to make up one kitchen, you know? So we currently have in-game 15 expansion packs, 12 game packs, 20 stuff packs, 16 kits, and one holiday kit. Yes, I did have to write that down so I would remember. But that means we have about 64 items plus base game, so 65 items we can play around with in this build, and I don't know if that's gonna be too hard. We'll have to wait and see. But this is the house I have for this build. We are going to be doing the exterior. Do I think we can landscape? Absolutely not. I don't think it's going to happen because we have very few packs to work with. I don't think 65 items should be part of the landscaping, but we will do windows and doors and that sort of thing. So I was thinking there's this one stone that I like a lot that I think would be really cute would be this horse ranch one. This like horse ranch stone I think is really cute on this front and I kind of want like a two-tone. So we are going to use two items and I'm, I think I think we're gonna use this growing together green paneling because it's really cute. And then I think we're gonna leave the roof the way it is. We're just gonna leave the roof because it's fine. I think the roof texture is all right. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. Also, if you wanna fix this funky roof overlap here, just bring your roof all the way in. I have two roof pieces here. Bring them all the way in and then just duplicate it and replace it like this and then just hold shift and bring in the eaves and then you have no funky weird overlap situation going on. So now we need to pick a door. So what I think I'm gonna do, I don't know how I'm gonna keep track of all of these that we've used already. Let me get a notebook. We're gonna write down which packs we've used. All right, <laughs> we're keeping track. Notebook style, it's fine. Now we need doors and windows and they have to be from different packs. The door has to be different pack from the windows, which might be a challenge getting ones that match, but it'll be fine. Thankfully, this is not a like a no mistakes challenge. So we can like pull out ones from different packs and like kind of choose which one works best. I'm thinking seasons. I'm thinking seasons for our door. We do have a craftsman ish exterior, which I don't know how that happened. I personally hate craftsman builds, but it's kind of what we've ended up with. And it's like kind of cute, although it's not my favorite. So maybe we won't do seasons. But the thing is, I don't know if seasons has anything like else worth using for this build. It's so like if we look at all the stuff, like, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of a lot of seasons items. So this might be a good place to use seasons, although I can always like use the umbrella stand or something. So this isn't one that's going to be hard to use later on. So we can definitely, we'll, we'll use it now. We'll use it now. We could go with like an eco, but eco has some really good stuff in it. So so I'm thinking maybe we hold off on using eco. What's a pack that doesn't have great items in it? Like what's a pack that has a good door, but nothing else of worth? Cats and dogs. No, I don't like that door. That's a base game door. We could, we could use up our base game here, but I feel like using our base game this early on is not a super strong choice. Get to work could be a good one to use up. What other doors do we have from get to work? Oh, they're all like exterior doors. You don't want that as a front door. That's not front door material. Why is that kind of cute? Why do I like that? Why? That's, that's a base game. I, I was like, I don't know if I want to use base game up this early. It's cute though. That's really cute. I love mid-century. Oh, and the dark brown. I'm going to hold on with that one. We're going to we're gonna use that for right now. I don't know if we'll stick to it. We're going to hold it. For windows, I really want to use the high school years window, but I don't want to use high school years on the outside. So I think I might use base game windows. So I can't because it's a base game door. So I cannot use base game windows. We have to find a different window. Maybe snowy escape windows. With snowy escape windows. So what I love to do is that we're going to make these white to start. If you take two snowy escape windows, it's the thousand words window and the not quite soji window, and you overlap them, it makes a cute little open window. And it's one of my favorite little tricks. However, I can't do that because it's only one item. So never mind uh, with that trick, but you can use that. It's a very good trick. I love doing it for all of my builds. I think we're going to use these windows for our house from snowy escape. And now I need to keep in mind my floor plan because I do have it re-floor planned. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a problem. Um, we can bring them like that. I think that's okay. Yeah, that works. And we'll do like, I don't know, one there. Maybe two. I feel like two could be cute here. Separate them a little bit. Yeah, like that. And then back here is our bathroom. I don't know if we're going to have one in our bathroom. So we're going to not put one in there right now. We'll put it at the end of the hallway though. And then over here, we'll do some on the sides like that. Those are evenly spaced. And then we'll do some right there. So that's our upstairs windows. I don't know what this room is yet. I just kind of built a room because it needed space here. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to be like an office. So that can be an office in there. Sure. So we can put a window in there. Why 
not? And then this is our kitchen. Our kitchen's not gonna have windows, I think, unless, I don't think, I think they're too tall to go in between the counter and the cabinet, so it's fine. This is our dining room. It's not gonna have, it's not gonna be completely walled up. I might put spandrels here, potentially, or we might do something else, but I haven't decided yet. All right, here we go. That's pretty cute. I think that's a good layout. We, need, we don't have any windows in our living room yet, so let's put some in our living room. Is it weird that I put windows in via the interior of the house? I feel like it's just easier to space things like that. Oh, that doesn't look fully centered because the stairs are right there. So if we move these, that's a little bit more centered. Okay, that's centered on the front now. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. And now we need like a pathway. We need some sort of pathway. So that's that's base game and snowy escape. And now we need some sort of pathway. I'm thinking like a like a stone. This is a great time to use Star Wars or like the castle pack. That might be nice for our kitchen though. So I'm gonna hold off on castle. What if we use Star Wars? I think this is a great time to use up Star Wars. I'm kind of like a throwaway or vampires. No, I don't know. I don't like the vampires as much. I want to use like this concrete. That's base game. And I use the base game door. So if I wanted to use that, I could switch out the door. But I like the door. I have to use Star Wars out here. I could also use Jungle Adventure. That's a good floor. But is it an outside tile? Not really. I think I'm going to go with Star Wars. Does it look the best with the uh, wall? No. But it works. And that takes out Star Wars for us. So we don't have to deal with it. All right. I'm afraid of landscaping. So I think we're gonna hold off on landscaping until potentially the end to see if we have any packs left over to landscape with. But we're gonna start on the inside. So we need to start with the doors. Now the thing is with the door, I'm thinking I can use the same door for all of my rooms, not just like one room. That feels like it's, it feels right to have every single door the same. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm thinking, oh, I okay. So we could go for like a cottage living door, but cottage living has really good counters. So I might wanna use cottage living counters. We could use dream home decorator but do we want to waste dream home decorator on a door i don't i don't i don't think so i don't think we do so we could use get to work again get to work doesn't have any good interior doors we could go parenthood but all of the doors have something on them so maybe not it doesn't make sense for every room we could do cats and dogs that's an option let me keep that out i could okay what if we swapped this door with this door that's movie stuff and i feel like there's not a lot in movie stuff that i could use so i think i'm gonna take out my base game i'm gonna use this door and then we're gonna use base game doors in the rest of the house because that's it's it's a rough out here to pick a door so we're gonna go with the base game doors this is a bathroom over here we're gonna throw that there and then up here so this is a bedroom that is a bathroom and then this is the primary bedroom and then this is a and i think that'll work and then for here we're i think for the dining room i wasn't gonna have it out i just kind of like had it separated for separation's sake but now i'm like should I leave it? Should I put a spandrel? Should I put an archway? I think I might hold off on choosing for that to see if we can do like an archway at a later point. I'm gonna write down movie stuff having been used. All right, so now in terms of floor. So for floors, we can use the same floor throughout the entire space. So I'm thinking a solid wood floor because we can use that in a bathroom, in an office, in a bedroom, the kitchen. All of them can have the same flooring. Now my go-to floor is eco and I feel like that's a good way to use eco because it has some really good items, but there's not a lot of great floors in this game, especially like when it comes to wood floor. Although floor rent is nice, but floor rent has some really good decoration items and like beds. So I feel like we're gonna hold off on floor rent. I think I think uh I think eco is a good way to use this pack. I think we're gonna go with the lighter colored wood. I might change it later, but we'll see. And everything's gonna have the same floor. You could say that's potentially cheating, but I say it's using my resources wisely. Oh, I didn't think about my stairs. I have to take these out. That's a base game stair. I put it in there for like place holding sake but i did not think about having to use pack for stairs island living i hate island living as a pack so we're gonna waste this one on stairs i think i think that's a good way to use island living do they look a little bit funky having it like open in there yes i don't care because i don't like island living so it's perfect and then for walls at least in our main room because i don't want to give up i'm not giving up like the vibes of the house just to save packs so we have to like keep that in mind like not every room is gonna have the same wallpaper so far i've used a mostly expansion packs as well which i wasn't necessarily like planning on but it's not ex it's, it's not surprising i use a lot of expansion packs in my builds what'll be interesting is using all of the stuff packs so for our walls in here my go-to is this like white paint but i can't use it so we need to pick something that is not base game because base game's like one of my go-to's for walls we could do parenthood this parenthood one is an option honestly that's not a bad option it's not my favorite it looks kind of basementy i have to say like it looks kind of like it, it's a basement floor it looks kind of like it's a basement wall i don't like the texture on it but it's an option and not a terrible option we could also go wallpaper 
cheaper. We do like a cottage living, but again, I feel like I should save cottage living to the kitchen. We do have cats and dogs, but it feels too nautical. Paranormal. Paranormal feels good. There's not a lot in paranormal that I can use for like other things. So I feel like this is pretty solid. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna put this in all of my rooms right now just to be safe so that we have walls for everything. But I do plan on changing them. I do plan on changing the walls. So that's paranormal. Paranormal's a stuff pack. Let's write that down. So now we have, I'm gonna start with our living. No, we should start with the kitchen. That is where we're gonna end up using our, our items. So I was saving cottage living for counters, but I'm thinking maybe we should use Home Chef Hustle for counters because Home Chef Hustle's a, a stuff pack meant for kitchen and like what else are we gonna use from it you know so what if we use these oh we could do them in yellow oh that's cute like that okay and then for a fridge oh a fridge is gonna be hard because we have the home chef hustle fridge i already used growing together this one this is the uh ice cream pack cool kitchen we'll use cool kitchen i think we'll keep it in the metal the thing is is that i usually go for the cool kitchen stove and that doesn't match so we could do the dream home decorator like fill in stove the one that like sits in the counter yeah, I feel like we should use this one. And like it kind of matches. Then we also need a sink. Now a sink is where uh, this could be interesting. We only have full kitchen, snowy escape, and home chef hustle and base game. And we can't use any of those. I've already used them. So what if we put in the cool kitchen sink, take out the cool kitchen stove. We can put in a different fridge. We can use the realm of magic fridge maybe or the parenthood fridge doesn't match completely in no way shape or form does this match but it's not a bad option we could do that make our appliances black okay that's not terrible the layout's a little funky but it's not terrible i'm thinking about moving my fridge over here like that now i would like to change the tile i would like to use a different tile on the wall and i feel like a spa day tile would be our our, our go-to tile for this build the spa day has some good tiles let's just look like a hospital room a little bit but like it's better than nothing so I think we're gonna use that. And then I'm also gonna put this in the bathrooms. And then I'm also gonna grab some windows. I don't think I'm gonna do uppers just to stave on a pat. I don't think I'm gonna put upper cabinets, but we are gonna put some windows right here. And I think that can help. I'm afraid of decorating too much. So we're gonna say that this is like, we have the base of this room. So we need to do another room. And I'm thinking we'll do the dining room, which we don't have a way to get into yet. But like, if all else fails, we just like remove the walls. So I'm not too concerned about the dining room. Now for the table, I'm thinking, we're gonna do wedding stories because what other wedding stories items are we gonna use? And this is one of my favorite tables in the entire game. So we're gonna go with that one. And then we need to grab a chair that we haven't used yet. We could do cats and dogs. Oh, this is one of my favorites from cats and dogs. This is one of my favorite chairs in the entire game. That's a good chair. I don't know if the swatches work for it, but it's okay. Oh, you know what we, something that we need to use? Luxury party. What can we use from luxury party? Should we use the luxury party chairs? You know what? That's not a bad swatch. Is it the best? chair you've ever seen no but does it use a pack that nothing else is really usable in yes so that's our dining room kind of sorted no decor obviously but it's like the big thing table and chairs done now let's do our living room and i think i already know what couch i want to use i want to use desert lux because there's not a lot in desert lux that you can use in this style of house it's a very specific like desert lux sort of stuff but the couch is so good i'm thinking we can put a couch here and we can have a couch like there i think and then our center space is gonna be over here the tv will go in this in the middle like that and then for tv i think we're gonna use the new photo tv because it's decor but it's also from modern lux which i'm personally not the biggest modern lux fan it doesn't fit my normal style so i'm gonna have a hard time using it so we will use modern lux and then we need a like a coffee table or a tv stand that's a base game stand i can't use that we do have this one this is from kid stuff but i think i should wait I should save kid stuff for a bedroom. This is my favorite one. I think we'll use Get Famous. Also, my cat has decided to make an appearance. There's Gimbal, the camera won't focus. There you go, there he is. Hi, buddy. It's his morning bath time today. Okay, so that's our living room. Like bare bones, our living room. We'll need like a plant and a rug and maybe some wall art, but that's what we're gonna stick with for right now. Now, okay, also lighting doesn't count. L these lights, they're base game, but I need to use them. So those don't count in our count of numbers. Now for our bathroom, the bathroom will be kind of nice because we can duplicate that 
items in the upstairs bathroom. So my favorite toilet is this one. Why I could not tell you. I just like the wooden toilet seat. In real life, a wooden toilet seat is the truly the worst, but I love it. But I'm not sure if I, oh, you know, that's also a base game. So I can't use it. Um, Tiny living or fitness stuff. Let's use the fitness stuff toilet. I also never use this, I think. I think that's a good use of this pack. So that's a fitness stuff. And then for a sink, I could, I could just take our kitchen counter and our sink from over here, but I don't think I want to do that. I think a standalone sink might be a way to use up an item from a pack that maybe we don't want to use that much. We could use laundry day. I don't have any plans for a laundry room. Have we used seasons? We haven't used seasons yet. Let's use this seasons one. I like that. And then we duplicate this and we take it upstairs as well. So there's our bathroom minimum what we need so now for an office so for the office we need a desk and probably bookshelves and that's going to be coming from book nook obviously so for a desk universities is a good option get to work is a really good option because otherwise i don't think i would use get to work it's like get to work is a lot of nothing in a way like it's truly a lot of nothing so i think a desk is a really good way to use this and i think there's more desks so we have this one and that one does this come like a wood swatch i don't think it does no it's like a metal desk okay but i don't mind this one it's not my favorite it, but it's not terrible. We can do like a dark wood for that. And then a computer. Should we go Strangerville? Oh, Get to Work also has a computer. I don't know if I want to waste Strangerville on a computer. City Living, we could we could use City Living for a computer. And then for a chair. Oh, we could all also use Get to Work for this one. My First Pet Stuff? We could use My First Pet Stuff. We used Star Wars. We used bowling yet? We haven't used bowling yet. We also haven't used backyard stuff. We could do a nifty knitting desk. It's like, what are we gonna use from nifty knitting? And then we could use a get to work computer and save city living. And then you get like a get to work chair. I feel like that's a better use of chair. I, black. I feel like that's a good use. And then for books, we're gonna use Book Nook, obviously. It's the it's the obvious choice. I'm gonna move the door over so we can use these. And the nice thing is that we can change our swatches so that they don't look identical. Okay, so that's like bare bones for our office. So that is Book Nook, Get to Work, Knitting. Oh wait, I have a Get to Work computer and chair. I need a different chair. Should I use My First Pet Stuff? What other stuff could we use for My First Pet Stuff? Oh, My First Pet Stuff has really good curtains, actually. I'm gonna not do My First Pet Stuff because like that's a good, I like those blinds a lot actually. Oh dear, this might be bad. Could use Outdoor Treat. We could use Crystal Creations. Crystal Creations is a good rug and good wallpaper. Okay, so this is, it's not a pack. It's technically base game, but it's a gift item. Like this was the 20th anniversary item. Can I use that as a different pack? I feel like that's cheating. What about Dine Out? Is it the best desk chair in the world? No, but it's a chair. So I'm changing my method a little bit. I've realized that I can just select everything here and uncheck the packs that I've used. Okay, so now it's just sorting by things I can actually use. So for our entry, our just gonna way is gonna be kind of like just a mismatch of like what we can still use. So... Now we're gonna use the upstairs stuff. So we already have our bathroom and like kind of finished. So we have our toilet and we have a sink. I'm gonna have to move this to be like right there on the side. And then our toilet's gonna have to be like over here. And then our shower tub combos, I think what we're gonna do over here because it makes sense. So shower tub combo options that we have. Not a lot, not a lot of options that we have. Okay, vampires? That's actually not terrible. I don't like the blue basin of the tub, but like could get over that. We could do that one. And no one said we couldn't change the swatches of our items that we've used. So I can change like the swatches of these. You know what? I don't, I don't hate that. But that or like Strangerville and I think I could use Strangerville for better things. We'll use vampires. We'll use this one. I think it's fine. So that's our bathroom bare bones. So we have our primary bedroom first. So in here, we gotta pick out a good bed. I'm thinking maybe for rent. For rent has a really nice bed, but it also has nice rugs, but there's other packs with nice rugs. But we could put a nice bed in here. Like over here, I can move the door over. So it's like there. Nice bed from for rent. And then for side tables, we use get together for side tables. And we use those for like all of the rooms or cats and dogs. I think cats and dogs might be a little bit more versatile because together has more swatches or realm of magic realm of magic is like some plain swatches I don't, I don't see myself using other realm of magic things so maybe we'll use realm of magic for our side tables brown swatches don't completely match but i'm okay with that and then a dresser we could go werewolves it's like what else are we going to use from werewolves besides like maybe some decor pieces so that's an option cats and dogs could be a good one vintage glamour this also might be a good way to use a vintage glamour i just don't like this very much let's use cats and dogs 
So I feel like this dresser could also work for the other rooms we're gonna use as well. Cause we're gonna do like a teen room and like maybe like a, a child or a toddler, like go with packs. So I feel like that is usable. So that's like minimum for our bedroom. So let's take out Realm of Magic for rent and uh, cats and dogs. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five expansion packs left, four game packs left, 12 stuff packs, 13 kits, and then the holiday stuff pack. That is like the free pack. So we're doing pretty good. We still have some decent amount of items left. So one of these bedrooms is gonna be like a teen room and one's gonna be a kid room. And we're gonna obviously use like the kids pack for the kids room. But which item do we use though? Probably the bed. Should we use that bed or are there other beds that we could use? So I kind of want to keep a high school bed for this room. We could give them a blow up mattress or the little camper's cot or the Strangerville. No, I want to keep Strangerville for rugs. Oh, you know what? Okay, I should use the pastel pot bed for this room. For this room, we could use high school or university. Oh, we could use universities too. I think I might use a university dorm bed. Let's do the striped one. And then I might change the wallpaper as well. I haven't decided. I probably will. And then here we need a dresser. Now I think I'm going to use, to save on items, we're going to use the cats and dogs one. We could change the swatch of it, but I, I need the items. Like we're running low on items already. Like it at least it feels like it. So we're going to use that. And then I kind of want to grab the the desk again but we do have the kids stuff desk so i think we can use this desk you know what instead of doing a dresser we could do a mirror in here we could have a floor length mirror for this room and the other bedroom okay like it's ugly but like it's not a terrible option oh we could use basement stuff like what else we're we gonna use from basement is we to have that big of a, a mirror in this room a little bit but like it's fine because we can also use that in this room or we could do jungle adventure jungle adventure is really good i think we'll use jungle adventure as the dresser in both of these rooms because you don't need to have a dresser it's just a way to change your clothes so they're still all technically functional so if we put this like here we could put the desk kind of like there i can move this door over a little bit like that so let's take out jungle adventure and kids room and universities i need a desk chair i think i use my first pet stuff in here no we're gonna use the curtains for my first pet stuff i think so we're not gonna use my first pet stuff let's use the little camper's chair why not give him a little froggy desk chair cute i made that match the thing over there and then we can make this a dark brown as well so we can go for more of a dark brown vibe in here i feel like that's like the minimum of what we need in here is this we'll come back to it this is like we're just doing we're doing big brush strokes sort of thing for these rooms and then for this bedroom we have pastel pop for our bed I'm gonna put it right there. We need a desk, probably. I think high school years desk. Maybe we'll do that one. High school years, pastel pop. City living for a chair, maybe? Bowling stuff for a chair? Vintage glamour? Vintage glamour could be a good one. I'm thinking vintage glamour. I, it's not the best choice, but like it's not a bad choice. Oh, it matches the desk. Oh, that's a good choice. We'll put the mirror over there. I'm gonna grab the same side tables for over here. We're just gonna use one though, and we'll just make it probably just white. We have the mirror and we have the desk in here. So that's kind of like the big brush strokes for all of these. So now we're going to clear out all the packs that we've used. And now we can actually decorate things. I also need to figure out what's going on with the entryway, but that's for another time. So now for rugs. City Living has some good rugs. I'm glad I saved that. So does Laundry Day. Laundry Day has a great rug. And I feel like Laundry Day rug could go really well in there. So we're going to put that there as like an option. Strangerville has some of my favorite rugs. Like that's so cute. And I feel like it fits in here. So I think we're going to put Strangerville in here. It has like a mid-century vibe to it maybe let's get like a better one that's not bad but i kind of want to use the lamp from that pack so what if we grab our lamp because then i can use this lamp upstairs as well in other rooms and it's a good lamp this also means i can use this rug everywhere and that kind of feels like cheating but you know what that's fine there's not a lot of great swatches on it like they're, they're all good swatches but i don't think it's gonna like match the vibe very well i also kind of want to use like this rug upstairs maybe so we'll put that there um as an option so that is taking out strangerville and decor to the max and i feel like we need a plant and i we haven't used cottage living yet which i'm kind of shocked by but you know that saves us because that means we can use cottage living plant and and we're also going to use the greenhouse haven plant because you need to use them they're just good ones this, this leaves us only two expansion packs left and two game packs so we're kind of down to like the wire of like what we can use so we got to find stuff with like good swatches that we can kind of use throughout the house but thankfully we can use these plants everywhere so we can take this plant and like throw it you know over here and i don't have a trash can i did not think of that it's fine we can use these bookshelves over here maybe not that many and they can have like bookcases in here to use up some space and then and for Lumen Rooms, I think we should use this plant. So let's take out Blooming Rooms because this is a good plant. We can use everywhere. 
We can put it over here. Throw one in here, maybe, maybe not. Put one over here in the parents' room. Probably one in the bathroom too, because like, why not? I don't know if it pays a functionality, but like, we're not going for functional, so it's fine. Like that, we'll probably use one in the bedroom over here as well. And then we need like some wall decor, specifically like oh, go over here. So like, what kind of wall decor do we have? City living has good wall decor. Oh, tiny living might be the wall decor that we go with, because that has a lot of swatches, because we can do like the little plant swatches. Yeah, yeah, tiny living. Use that up. Okay. Now we're gonna use our curtains. We're gonna use we because we only have a few options. So we are going to use. Oh, the question is which ones do we use? So you can only choose one. I'm thinking the medium-sized one because if you just shrink these down, they fit on all of them. And since we have all the same windows, I know they're all gonna fit. And they have lots of swatches too. So I'm gonna make these ones white and the other rooms can have other swatches. We'll make these ones like kind of this grayish white as well. And then for our kitchen, there's a cute little yellow swatch. The office, I don't know, maybe we'll do like a, brown matches the bookcase. We'll, we'll do brown, because why, why not? Over here, we will add probably like the gray to match the living room space over here like the gray matches the walls really nicely okay so we have our curtains up here so then upstairs we're gonna take them as well i want to do pink in this bedroom because we've got kind of like a pink vibe going on with the bed which again we can change because i i really haven't done anything in this room in terms of like swatches up here we'll do the gray again because it matches in here do we have a green swatch we do have a green swatch we can do this two-toned green which kind of matches like surprisingly well. It's a little on the ugly side, but like it's fine. It's it's my first pet stuff. Like what do you expect? And then over here, we'll add the neutral swatch again. And then over here, I think we'll do like a cream. Because I'm unsure. If we have extra wallpaper, if we have extra packs left over, we will be using some wallpapers to change them up. So I'm going to say our living room is pretty solid. Now for our dining room. How are we getting into our dining room? Are we going to just break open a hole in the wall? I've lost all arches. We do have spandrels. We could use get together spandrel or the oasis something oasis courtyard oasis because there's not a lot in courtyard oasis we can use i just thought like that was a little bit dramatic but you know what i'm here for the drama it looks a little funky on the side but you know what it's fine we do have romantic garden stuff we can use a column for but i don't think it's worth using a column for it now for our kitchen we are going to use our laundry day rug because laundry day is a good rug and then we are going to find some like kitchen clutter that we can use but like we don't have a lot i'm afraid to clutter our kitchen okay we can use this hot sauce from perfect patio Okay, is it just gonna be hot sauce? Is that all we're doing? Did I already use, did I use cottage living yet? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I used cottage living for the plant. So that takes out another item from there, but maybe we just have hot sauce. Maybe we just have hot sauce. And then I'm gonna grab this rug and we're gonna move this over here to our entryway. I'm gonna go with that one, it's a good rug. And we'll also grab this. Put on some cute little plants on the wall like that. And then we'll see if we have any like, things left over for that one let's take care of this room it's kind of a mess so we have this rug from industrial loft that we can use i love just like the creamy white swatch we have a plant we have a light to throw in here i'm thinking about putting the light on the other side of the mirror like in this corner we can also use this light in the primary bedroom over there and we can also throw this in over here at the end of this bed just to give them all some lighting and then i feel like i could use the same rug over here you know what that doesn't look terrible with the colors i kind of like that and then i feel like i should get a rug for our bathroom this one's too big so I think we might need to get another rug, which I'm not opposed to. I think it's okay. Do have anything else from City Living? I don't think we have anything from City Living yet. We could use that. Or we could use the werewolf's rug. I do like the werewolf's rug. And this can be a hallway rug for upstairs. Do the brown one. That's pretty. So let's take out werewolves. So we have City Living and Get Together, Outdoor Retreat, Spooky Stuff, Backyard, Bowling Night, Toddler, Machino, My First Pet. I did do My First Pet, so let's take that out. Crystal Creations, Country Kitchen. Oh, we can use Country Kitchen. Okay, Bust the Dust, we need to put a vacuum. Industrial Loft, I used the rug from that. Everyday Clutter, Bathroom Clutter, Basement Treasures. Did I use that already? I might have used that. And then Castle Today in the Holiday Pack. Let's do bathroom clutter. Let's see what we can throw in here. We could do toilet paper. We could do towels. I feel like toilet paper. Toilet paper, you need toilet paper in a house. So that's bathroom clutter. We also need to look at everyday clutter. Let's just generally look at decorations. So now like, honestly, we have like everything we need to have a functional house except for a trash can. Perfect. Does it look good? No, we can get rid of outdoor retreat. Does it look great? No, but I never promised this was gonna look good. All right, that is completely, we are completely out of stuff packs. All right, we completely 
completely out of uh, game packs and I kind of love that. Should I swap this out? No, it's fine. We can just have a trash can. Maybe put it over here. Just tuck it in, you know? So now we have a trash can, so that's a functional build. And this trash can, you don't need an outside trash can. This is technically an outside trash can. So now for like clutter, what do we have? So Machino is going to be a hard one to use, but Machino does have like some clutter stuff. Castle is also going to be hard to use. We could use a floor for castle. We could swap out a tile floor. I don't think I like that. I don't think that works. But like wallpapers for something. So we do have wallpapers. What if we use like a spooky stuff wallpaper in this room? We could put this one in this bedroom. That's not a bad choice. Especially we can like change the swatch of this too. Kind of like the pink though, but this wall is really pretty. It doesn't have a pink swatch, unfortunately, but I think I might put crystal creations there. Country kitchen is a good one that we can use for some clutter. So where is country kitchen? Oh, we can also grab some mugs out from everyday clutter. We'll grab this one out, this lemon from outdoor, some from backyard stuff. We can grab the camera from Machino. I like that as a little clutter item. We can get maybe the set of board games from basement stuff. Now let's do the vinyls from basement treasures. We can get the bowling pin from bowling stuff, from toddler stuff. I guess we can use the pack of party plates. I feel like from get together, a plant would be really good. Having another one of these in here. Maybe we'll put like a, a plant in here from get together. That's good. We'll use that from get together. I feel like wall decor from city living could be good for a bedroom, like a, a like a poster. So yeah, we'll use a poster from city living. I mean, they have like a lot of swatches. Not really. So we'll do a, uh, a signed Blick Block poster in here from city living. And that's all of our expansion packs. So now we just have a few stuff left. So we have spooky stuff, which I'm feeling like maybe a, a jack-o-lantern or like a little pumpkin. I think the pumpkin's kind of cute. And then uh, now spooky stuff. We have romantic garden, which you can't really use romantic garden in the house. So that has to be like an outside thing, I think. And then for country kitchen, I think I'm gonna use these. I can use a few of those. I still need to get a vacuum from Bust the Dust. And then we have Castle Estate. So we have Castle State, the free holiday pack, plus the dust and romantic garden. So let's just scroll through all of this to see what's best used. So let me grab our vacuum out. We have our bust the dust vacuum. We do have lights from romantic garden. I think we'll use lights. Those are not well placed, but it's fine. Okay, so we have those from romantic garden. I don't know how we're gonna use the castle pack. Truly, I don't know how we're gonna use it. We can use these lights from the holiday pack to put in the bedrooms. All right, that's the holiday pack. And now we just have castle estate. How are we gonna use castle estate? A trim, the trim is too tall. I, and I can't use this on the outside. Like, I can't use that. I could swap the stairs for island living and get like a decor item from island living. Let's do that. Let's get Island Living back. Because Island Living does have some good decor items. We can grab like this vase. Or, oh, you know what? Instead of a vase, we can get a, like a table to go under here. Is it great? No. You know what? I feel like a vase might be better than that, actually. Or a big plant. I think the vase is cute. We can put the vase like here on the counter. We have our plates we can throw here. Also, in case you didn't know, to alt place items, turn on the Sims 3 camera mode, place your item on top of the surface that you want to place it on to alt place. That sets the height and then just pull it away and then you can drag it. And then if you have the Sims 3 camera on as well, you can hold alt to alt, rotate it like this. And it's great for decorating. Oh my gosh, it has little faces. And I just put that back. Oh, it's not, it's too far over. And then we will put some of these up here. And the nice thing about this is we can use multiple of them. I think two is probably good. Then we have our little lemon decor, some mugs we can throw on here, and then we have a pumpkin. I feel like the kid can have a pumpkin. What if he's just like really into uh, Halloween? And then we have the vinyls, which I feel like the, the the girl over here, she's really into vinyls um, because she is, but she doesn't even have a, have a vinyl player, like a record player, but it's fine. We're also going to give her a computer over here, and then the vacuum can go in the entryway. Maybe they just finished vacuuming, you know, so they left it out. The bowling pin, dresser decor, and then the camera I feel like the teen girl, maybe she's also into cameras. Maybe she's like, I'm going to be a photographer one day. And then that is, that's all the packs. That is all the packs. And that's a, a finished house. That's a finished house. Now I am going to go in the gallery and check to make sure we have no duplicates. So I'm going to save it to my library because you might not know this, but when you upload something to the gallery or even your library, it shows you. So these little icons are like, what's in, what packs are used? But what you might not know is if you click on them, it shows you the item. So you can click the show all pack item and it shows you what item is used. So I'm just going to go through really quickly and check to make sure there's no duplicates. Two hours later. Exactly. No duplicates of items. 
that is so exciting. So while there's nothing on the exterior, like there's no landscaping, we didn't we didn't manage to get some landscaping out of this, but that's okay. To have a completed build that is probably functional. Like I don't see why this wouldn't be functional unless like they can't walk, but like this looks pretty functional to me. Is it limited on like the vibes? Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this out. We're gonna have a little, a little centerpiece like that. Our little bathroom over here. It could use a rug, but it's too late. It's fine. We have our, our little bedroom over here. That's really cute. We have this bedroom. We didn't, oh, we didn't put a rug. There we go. We have a rug. <laughs> We have a rug. Honestly, that's a cute bedroom too. Like that works a lot. Our the other bathroom and then our second bedroom. The second bedroom is a little bit uh, worse for wear, but it's fine. But we did it. I'm so excited. I didn't know if this is actually gonna work. I did truly no testing before I started filming this. All I did was build the shell. That's all I did before I filmed this. I didn't test anything. I didn't do anything whatsoever. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of other silly challenges you'd love to see me do in The Sims. This one was a lot of fun. I. Don't think I've seen anyone else do this before either. So I had a lot of fun doing this. So thank you so much for watching. Also, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern if you want to come join us. The links are down below. If you are enjoying the videos and you want to hang out off stream, off video, off YouTube, come over and join the Discord. It's where I post like all the fun stuff, schedules, notifications, pictures of my cat gimbal, this guy. And we have a good time. So feel free to join us in the Discord as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!